I want to have cleavage like my sisters. Khloe Kardashian considers boob job to measure up to her siblings and jokes she must have different parents to. Perfect. Kim after hinting at getting a boob job on last week's episode of the Kardashians, Khloe Kardashian offered some reasoning behind the possible surgery on this week's episode, dubbed One Night in Miami. The episode follows Kim and Khloe to Miami for an opening of one of Kim's skims pop-ups while Kendall and some of her friends like Hailey Bieber headed to Las Vegas to promote her 818 tequila. Khloe also opened up about the reason for wanting a boob job. To measure up to her statuesque sisters while joking she had, different parents, than sister Kim Kardashian. The episode begins with a warning that it contains, graphic images of surgery, adding that, viewer discretion is advised, since matriarch Kris Jenner goes under the knife for her hip replacement in this episode. The episode begins in earnest where the last episode left off, with Kris being wheeled into surgery, with Kim revealing she's, not nervous. They show footage of the doctors driving a large metal spike into Chris's hip while Kim tells Chris's longtime boyfriend Corey Gamble not to be nervous and she'll be all right. Kim adds in confession that, surgery is really scary. I'm just low-key freaking out because it's taking so long, but I am the family representative here so I'm just gonna keep it together and be strong. They cut back and forth from the operating room to the waiting room with Kim and Corey seemingly just outside, as they can apparently hear all of the spike hammering noises. At some point, the doctor says they're, good, as Kim and Corey hug, as the episode transitions back to Chris's home, while Chloe walks over for a visit. I've walked twice. I got up the first time to walk on my little walker over there. It was painful but it's like, hey, let's keep doing this, Chris tells Chloe. Back at Chris's place, she tells Chloe that she remembered telling Kim that it would be so great to do something like this with a friend, which clearly stuns Chloe. I just want fuller like, when you see me in a bikini I don't have cleavage like my sisters have this, a ample cleavage and it's like, I don't know. You just gotta see M without this top on. That's for another show, Chloe says in confession as a producer is heard laughing. Chloe also gets more specific about what she really wants out of a boob job during the episode's tiny post credit scene. Chloe is seen in confession playing with bra stuffers, not full breast implants. I'm not saying I want big old jugs, I just want a handful or a mouthful. Just a little fuller, it's not a porno over here, Chloe adds as the scene ends. Chris tells Kylie that Kim asked the doctor to save my bone so she can make jewelry out of it, which Kylie admits that is weird. Chloe asks Chris if she remembered talking about getting cremated and having necklaces made with her ashes, but Chris insists that's a good idea. Chris adds that Kylie doesn't want her to be cremated, while Chloe adds in confession that they talk about wills and death, and they tell each other what our wishes would be if something terrible were to happen. If I'm in a coma, I'm still getting my nails done once a week. And that's in my will. Cause people are gonna visit me, Chloe says in confession. Back at Chris's home, she asks Kylie if she remembers when they were going to go, pick out our mausoleum, but Kylie isn't sure about that right now. Kylie astutely adds that they should say, only this many generations are allowed in here, as Chris jokes, it's like a club. Nope, you're not on the list. Chris adds, I would love to be at the base of the Matterhorn, as Chloe adds, people are always like, this was once an ancient burial ground. And then they're like, now my house is haunted, or whatever. Chris jokes in confession, can you imagine being haunted by the Kardashians? Epic, while Kylie ends the bizarre phone conversation. Kylie had her baby a few weeks ago, so I'm just stopping into her office to say hi, check in on her. It is pretty wild that she is a mom of two, also amazing, Kendall says in confession. Kylie adds, it's just the baby blues and then it kinda goes away. I had it with Stormy too, and that she would cry so much she would just, lay in bed and my head would hurt so much. Kylie reveals in confession, I'm not a doctor, but I read on Google they call it, baby blues, when it doesn't last past six weeks. After about six weeks, I started to feel better, but I definitely had a case of the blues, Kylie admitted, telling Kendall she's feeling better and not, crying every day so that's great. Kendall asks Kylie to just come with her to Vegas and they can make it a, girls night, as Kylie admits she hasn't had, a night out in almost a year. 
Kendall adds in confession she is, so glad Kylie is coming, because Kylie is feeling a little down and I tend to get a lot of anxiety in situations like this. I think that us two going together could like almost even us out and we could be helpful towards each other. Kylie says she would, love to support you and your 818, Kendall, as Kendall says it sounds, pretty perfect, though Kylie immediately starts fretting about something. Yes I'm feeling so much better, Chris says before asking Kim if she has a grill on, which she shows her. We need to get away. We've had a very stressful few weeks. Did you see in the press that we lean on each other for support Kim asks, as they show a people headline. Where did that come from? Chloe asks as Kim says she doesn't know, but tells her that she has to go to Miami and wants Chloe to come with her for the night. Chris offers a refresher in confession that her son Rob Kardashian's ex Black China is suing the family for defamation of character and interference of contract, adding, the trial is looming over our head. It's stressful. I'm still not sure if I want to go with all of this drama going on. I'm just an introvert. I just like being at home. But I also know I have major FOMO, Chloe adds in confession. Everything is so malicious these days people want to catch you. How drunk you are, if you're on a date with someone, oh this is how she looks. Shut the F asterisk K up, Chloe says in confession. Malika says she's just trying to be optimistic and at least they can get a good time out of it, so this might be actually worth it. Chloe takes a look at everyone out on the beach from the hotel balcony, as Kim adds, I think Chloe needed this trip more than anybody. The episode shifts back to Los Angeles, as Chris gets into her rehab with the trainer, when her surgeon pays a visit. The trainer remarks that he's, impressed, that Chris isn't taking any pain medication, but she jokes, I'm signing too many papers to be on drugs. I am determined to live again without this pain. Me and my family have so many exciting things going on, I don't want to miss a thing, Chris says in confession. I am like, praying for the best and just every step left right you're lucky there's not drool hanging out of my mouth, I'm always just praying for the best, Chloe adds. They are inside the pop-up as Kim says, I wanted to make it like Lego, so if you want to cover your arms, wear that if you want to cover your legs, wear that, like everyone pick your insecurity and figure out how to cover it. Kim says in confession, I'm so excited about my pop-up. I know Chloe hates all the cameras but I love it, it's all good. During dinner, Chloe marvels, this humidity, I don't know how you're so perfect, it's wild, you're such a beautiful girl that you honestly. I don't know who your parents are but they're not my parents. After dinner, Chloe says, I came here to dance girl, as Kim asks if they all want to go out somewhere. They end up back at the hotel for some pre-gaming, as Chloe toasts, to a girl's night in Miami, to blessings, to love and to some badass boss b asterisk 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 s. Courtney is in a confession when a producer asks, are you married and we missed it, as Courtney looks into the camera and says, well guess what, as the episode comes to an end.